I welcome you to this lesson of the tactics called as removing the guard, also known as destroying the defender. Okay, known by multiple names, but uh, we'll use removing the guard here. Now, what is the concept? I will try to understand by looking at this example. Okay, so let us dive right into this position. Now here we see there is a lot of tension in the position. The queen is attacking the queen, right? The bishop is attacking the knight. Okay, so what do we do about it? Let us say I start exploring the position a bit. Okay, now what do I do? Let me think if I capture the queen directly. Okay, so the knight is going to capture me back, right? So it is an exchange of the queens. When you lose a piece and you get the same value piece of the opponent also out of the board, what it is called? It is called an exchange of pieces, not an advantage. Okay. So I lose my queen. Black loses his queen. Both lose the queen. Not so much fun. So what do I do? Now, if we see. Why is black able to maintain an equilibrium in the position? Because the queen is supported by the knight. Okay, so whenever I capture it, knight is going to capture me back. Now, we come to the next top of thinking. Now, I am thinking, what happens when I capture this knight? Okay, so the moment the knight is out of the board, suddenly, the queen is without any support, right? The moment the knight disappears, the queen is hanging. And when I actually capture the knight, it also is a check. Okay, so very interesting. Let us see what happens. So when I go ahead and capture the knight, black has two options. Either he captures back or moves the king away from the check. Correct? And it doesn't matter whichever option black chooses. Okay, because maybe the best is just recapture. But then we can capture the queen for free. Right? So what did we do in this tactics? We removed the guard. We destroyed the defender. The knight was the defender of the queen on d4. Let us go ahead and make those moves. I'll go ahead and capture the knight. The pawn captures back and now the queen on d4 is without any support. Right? So, we can simply go ahead and capture it for free. Which is quite unlike the earlier scenario. Where, if like this one, where I capture it, knight is going to capture me back. Correct? So, what did we do? We removed the guard. We destroyed the defender. We removed the piece which was supporting the queen. Okay. Again, a very powerful method of gaining an advantage. We'll see a few more examples. Okay. So, what do I see in this position? Again, some tension. The queens are facing each other. The knights are facing each other. Right? So, let me start my thinking with something simple. Okay, it can be anything. You can start your thinking with knight into this, knight into this. But I am taking my thoughts through. How do I arrive at a conclusion by starting at any move order? So for the example, I am going to think about, okay, I am going to capture this queen. So what will black do? He is going to capture me back. So what happened here? We made an and what was the word we learned? An exchange. Correct? I am losing the queen. Opponent is losing the queen. No advantage. Okay. It happens a lot of times. You have to make an exchange. That is a perfectly fine part of chess. But in this position, we have this unique opportunity again. Where we see we can first capture the knight. Which is in turn protecting the queen. What happens? When I capture this knight, it is also a check. Very important thing. It is a check. Okay. And when we do a check, 
it is compulsory for the opponent to take care of that right so i go and capture that the bishop captures back and that is perfectly fine but now if you see it's a new position and the black queen is without any support it is free to be captured and i can get it for free so what did you do we removed the defender right the knight was defending we removed it and allowed us to achieve a great advantage of material interesting right we'll go to the next one very similar to the last ones again the queens are facing each other the queen the black queen is supported by the black knight and we have an opportunity to capture the black knight while also giving a check that's very important so again make the most forcing move on the chessboard give a check again see the position magically the black queen is without any support and we can capture it right okay Let's see a few more let us take something random ah oh. okay removing the guard okay now what do i see little complex position many many pieces around but that is the benefit of practicing tactics that in a position like this where you have many pieces will be able to find what is the key move what is the important theme in this position how do i achieve an advantage if there is an opportunity okay so in this case you see i can capture the queen right if i capture it directly the king is going to capture it again we'll make an exchange now i see my rook here also i'm thinking if the king was not here let us say it was here then the queen would be unsupported right that gives me an idea that why do i why don't i remove the white king from f1 okay so i make this move i sacrifice my rook to take the king away from the square where it was defending the white queen okay and now i can capture the queen correct so what did i do i gave up my rook i sacrificed my rook with an idea to remove the support of the white queen okay so again we removed the guard see two three more very very interesting example one of the very common positions we get maybe out of multiple openings okay now i'll explain this position a bit directly getting the idea of you know what to do is little difficult so let us say here i am thinking how nice it would be if i was able to capture this pawn with the bishop it would be a checkmate right the king would be under attack cannot go here because of the knight it would be such a nice checkmate correct but uh, i as i think about it i see this bishop right so what happens uh if i go ahead and capture it directly the bishop is going to capture it and destroy my idea and i will capture it back and the king will capture it back i lose two pieces black will lose one not that something i want so now the next stage of thinking is i am thinking what if the bishop was not there then i see the queen and the bishop are in the same diagonal i'm thinking what happens if i capture the bishop now suddenly the defense of f7 is lost right let us go ahead and do that queen goes to h5 okay the knight captures back now i can actually execute the checkmate bishop f7 and it's a checkmate right such an interesting example because we remove the defender and then we achieve the target of giving a checkmate very interesting position 
okay let us look at two more i am sure by now you have an concept you have an idea of this tactics and we have so many examples which you will be able to work through to develop your understanding okay so what do i see in this position what is the key in this position is that rooks are facing each other if you see who is the defender of the black rook it is the knight right so if i capture it right away the black knight is going to capture it so what do i do then i see the bishop is here bishop is available to capture the knight again what we are able to do we are able to remove the guard so the moment i capture it the knight is out of the board and suddenly the rook on a7 is unsupported correct let us go ahead and make the moves bishop goes here captures the knight the pawn recaptures but suddenly the black rook on a7 is without any support and i can go ahead and capture it for free right let us go to the last example removing the guard destroying the defender very interesting tactics position which i have seen many times it has come in my games many times and a very powerful tactics okay let us see what is the idea now i have seen this knight here and i see the idea is white would be really happy if the queen was able to go to h7 and do a checkmate right but unfortunately the square is under control of the black knight also right now okay so what do i do then i see this interesting idea what if i put the knight here okay it will be kind of a sacrifice i am attracting the knight here okay i am hoping he will capture it if the knight is not there for one move i'll simply place my queen on h7 do a checkmate if the knight doesn't capture queen moves away doesn't matter i can still do the same thing i can capture the knight give a check when black captures back i do a checkmate let us make the moves on the board and the knight goes to d5 okay knight captures and what did we achieve in this position we removed the defender of the key square on h7 and we are able to take the queen all the way to h7 and achieve a checkmate right so we see how we can achieve a great advantage win material do checkmates by using this method of removing the guard okay we have multiple examples i encourage you to go through them and practice your skills okay while we are at it we we'll look at this last example and then we'll go to the next chapter here we have the white queen king and knight are together for the moment the knight is supported by the king but what happens if i place the queen here yeah. king has to move away the support of the knight has been destroyed it has moved away and white is free to capture the knight for free okay so what did you see in the last few examples we are able to remove the support of a piece which is to be captured and we are able to capture that piece for free okay a very important tactics removing the guard destroying the defender please practice through the examples and i'm sure it will be a very useful part of your games i'll see you in the next chapter